morning. An increasing number of people have fallen sick with COVID this month, including President Biden. So if you find yourself experiencing COVID-like symptoms, what should you do this time around? Well, we're asking Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike. Good morning, Dr. Mike. Natalie, how are you? So fabulous now that you're here. So what are some of the <laughs> symptoms to look out for this summer? And I, I, I love to be so joyful when you're here, even though we're talking COVID. But what do we need to know, Dr. Mike? Well, you know, like I've said from the very beginning of the pandemic, all you need to fear is fear itself. So it's not like 2020. Most of us have either had COVID or been vaccinated or both. So it's not a pandemic. It's like a bad cold. So what do you do if you have cold-like symptoms? First thing I tell people to do is do a home test. If that's negative, but you still feel badly, I have patients come in and I do a PCR test on them. But not to panic, for most people, COVID-19 is a bad cold. And unless you're elderly or you have significant medical problems, you do chicken soup, rest, fluids, and the new guidelines say you isolate until you, your symptoms are getting better, you have no fever for 24 hours. Then you can leave your home, put a mask on for five days, try to avoid large crowds, and that's it. Now, we do have Paxlovid, which is an antiviral, and that is for older folks, uh, and it works. Um, uh, but it's an individual thing. Younger people, you, you really need to talk with your health care provider whether it's the right thing to do or not. And in other news, a deadly listeria outbreak has killed two people, infected 28 <laughs> others. Officials say a lot of the cases are connected to sliced meats at delis. I mean, this was shocking to me because it's not like something you're going to go home and wash, you know, like you wash vegetables, fruits and vegetables that typically have listeria. So what do we do in this case? Right. Well, if you have to uh, uh, get deli meat, uh, the recommendations are you heat it to 165 degrees. Now, I don't know about about uh, uh, that or, or you get a soft cheese or whatever. Look, the bottom line is for most people, it's really you don't even know it. Or you might have a little gastroenteritis, some diarrhea, some GI upset. The people I worry about the most are pregnant people women. Mm. Now, pregnant women, according to many experts, should avoid deli meat. They should avoid hot dogs, soft cheeses, things like that, because it can be very bad for your unborn child. Uh, so in that regard, look, just be careful. And this doesn't have to do with packaged meats. This is deli meats. Um, and, and look, if you're a proprietor of a deli, uh, it's critical that you wash and you clean meticulously that, that machinery that cuts and slices it. Look, I, I grew up on bologna. Yeah, a lot of people would think that <laughs> explains a lot. But, uh, you know, the bottom... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bottom line is it is what it is. Uh, just be careful. And certainly if you're immunocompromised, if you're elderly, uh, you, you, you just have to be aware of that and, and wait and see how this goes out. But I, I wouldn't panic about this either. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Mike. That's all we have for you today, unfortunately.